In today's tutorial, we're going to deal with a JavaScript question that deals with the double bang operator. This really involves the logical not operator, but we're going to look at how using two together is a shortcut in JavaScript, a shortcut that gets called the double bang. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript. As always, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. And remember to check out the discount links to all my courses in the description. I just released a brand new course titled JavaScript, the Critical Parts Masterclass. It was several years in development, and I think it's one of my best courses. I will provide a link in the description that will provide a huge discount for registering. All right, let's jump into it. So the double bang consists of two logical not operators two exclamation points. And this double bang is frequently used as a shortcut. So the logical not switches the Boolean equivalent of any value. If the Boolean equivalent is true, it switches it to false and vice versa. Now, all values in JavaScript are considered either truthy, meaning they would evaluate to a true, or falsy, meaning they would evaluate to a false. Now, if the concept of truthy and falsy is new to you, I'll link to a tutorial on truthy and falsy in the description. Let's first look at some examples of logical not really briefly, and then see how the double bang is a shortcut. Now, I want to do this, just this first part, just in the browser and on the console. All right, so quickly, I'm just going to use a Boolean. So if I place true here on the console, obviously what it's going to return is true because that's what it evaluates to is true. But I can reverse that with the logical not like this. Then it returns false. Now, this is a Boolean value. But remember, I said every value in JavaScript has a truthy or falsy equivalent. So for example, I could do five, which is a truthy value, and it converts it to false. Or I could do null, which is a falsy value, and it converts it to true. So basically, we see that the logical not reverses the truthy or falsy value. Well, what would happen if we added another logical not operator, another exclamation point? Basically, it would reverse it again. And what we'd end up with is the Boolean equivalent of the original truthy or falsy value. So using this same example up here, this five, if I did a double bang, is what we sometimes call it, that returns true. Two logical knots in a row. It basically returns the truthy value. So we can find the truthy or falsy value of any value in JavaScript using the do double bang. Now this is equivalent to the Boolean function. For example, we could do that same thing by writing out the Boolean function with five in it, and that returns true. So this is why it's called a shortcut. The double bang is considered a shortcut. So here's another couple of examples. That gives us the, tr the truthy or falsy value of null, which is false. We can do that with an empty object. We can do that with an empty array. Basically, any value in JavaScript, we can do this with. We can do it with a function. I'll just do a function. doesn't really have anything in it. But because it is a function, it returns true. That's its truthy value. Okay? So we see how this works, but how can we use this shortcut? How can it help us? Well, one way is if you need to store the Boolean equivalent or you need to display the Boolean equivalent of some value, this is an easy way to get that without using the Boolean function. So let me just jump to Sublime here and we'll take a look at a very simple example. I have here an object, basically it has two properties in it is all. And let's say we want to be able to simply display if every user, we have a bunch of user objects, this is just one example, but if every user has an amount or not, that's all we're concerned about. We're not concerned what the amount is 
just whether it has an amount or not. So if there's nothing here or there's a zero, that is a falsy value. And so that would display false. If there is something, that would be a truthy value. So we can do something like this. I'll just log it to the console. And I'm going to do a template string here just to set up a sample statement that we might want to display. And what I'm going to do is user, and then I'll grab the username from the object. So if this user, and then I'll click ha or indicate has an amount. And then how are we going to display whether they have an amount or not? Well, we'll use the double bang for that. So first let me enter that I want to enter an expression, and then we use two exclamation points and an obj dot amount like that. And this will display either the truth or falsy value of that property. So let me just go ahead and save that. We'll just take a look at that really quick. Refresh. User Steven has an amount and it comes out false. So that would be true if null were there or undefined, uh, anything like that. But if we do have some sort of number, say we have something like that. Now, when we take a look and let me refresh this, it comes back true. So that is the double bang, basically two logical knots, and it is considered a shortcut in JavaScript. All right, please hit that like button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description section. Click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I release new tutorials as often as I can. And once again, thanks for watching.